Hi, Adam Beerman, Princetonian now. Welcome to the 23rd Annual Sauce for the Goose Holiday Art Market at the Princeton Shopping Center. And we have to find out what Sauce for the Goose means. Something probably artistic. Adam Beerman, Princetonian now. We're talking to Dina Miller, is that the name? Yes. You're here from the Arts Council. This is the 23rd Annual Sauce for the Goose, a Goose for the Sauce. Sauce for the Goose. What was your role in this? Um, I'm representing the Arts Council um, from the ceramic studio, and we have an assortment of work by various artists from the studio. Did you make any of this? Or you just I did. It? One question. Sure. I'll put you on the spot. What kind of person would like your art and want to spend their money? I think people who appreciate handmade pieces. Um, we all explore clay differently, looking at texture and color and, and just different techniques. And you can see these pieces to me all represent our personalities. It's a really great assortment of work. So I think people that just appreciate the touch and the handmade items. And I'm going to shop And they're one beautiful. Of yes, they are beautiful. They're beautiful gifts. So these are all the pieces you can see have different different texture, a different style, some modern, more traditional, um, some more functional, some more artistic. So it's whatever appeals to people. I'm talking to? Sherry Andrews. Sherry Andrews. What do you have here? This seems very interesting, these watercolors. Can you tell me? These are actually alcohol inks. Um, yeah, it's, a, it's an interesting medium. You can get lots of textures in them. So this is, this is one of my tiles. And I actually paint on the marble directly, and I use dusters, and you can see there's lots of textures, and some of the paint soaks into the marble. Um, it's, it's not a very common medium, and it's very vibrant, so the colors, you know, really pop out. Yeah, so they're, they're very vibrant and pretty and colorful. I think they're happy, picture, happy pictures. That would fun. Nothing more to add to that. Thank you very much. Uh, with the holiday art market, sauce for the goose, goose for the sauce. I love just saying that. It, it rhymes and it makes my tongue loose. Who are we talking to right now? Chaitna Singh. Chaitna Singh? Sink or Singh? Singh. 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 But one thing I do love, my wife, maybe I have to buy one of these. I shouldn't say that out loud. What do you have here? So these are actually all my original paintings that I do on canvas. And then... I print on silks and cottons afterwards. So they are, it's much like a gicle that artists do for, uh, you know, prints. Instead of uh, paper, I do it on silk so that you, it's wearable art then. How can, do people wear these as scarves? They're they are all scarves, yes. Oh. Scarves and pocket squares, actually. Wow. Um, so I've always loved to paint, okay? And uh, I'm actually an ER physician. This is my outlet. And uh, I, was, I painted a, a big Buddha painting once. And then I looked at it and I was like, wouldn't it be so cool to wear this? And that's how the process started. I uh, started make, get, getting, making files of it, sending it to printers, and trial and error. It took a while, but I finally got the scarf I wanted. Mm -hmm. And then the whole thing started. That was about four and a half years ago. Yeah. So. Well, with Maria from the Princeton Arts Council, last time I saw you, you were in a rather macabre outfit for what, the Day of the Dead or Dias de los Muertes? Oh, Dia de los Muertos. Oh. Yeah. What is the role of the Art Council in this, and how do they give back to the Princeton community? We've been doing Sauce for the Goose for 24 years now, and it always was in our building. But we've been facing a lot of um, challenges because it got really large. Um, downtown always has a parking challenge. So the uh, shopping center gave us this pop-up space. And this is perfect for Sauce for the Goose because it's on a, it's on one level. It's market style. There's plenty of parking. So we're trying it here this year. Mm -hmm. um, how many days is it this year? It was last night, today, and tomorrow from 11 to 4. And so far it's been a success? A yeah, yeah, it's been great. It's been really great. And it supports all, so many local artists, and you can buy local at, the, at its quintessential meaning. So. And the prices aren't bad either. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you very much. <laughs> you're welcome. Thanks, Adam. We're talking to? Alcama, too. And you're providing a very artistic what? Um, so I am... Textiles is my passion, so basically any shape or form of textiles I design and then I'm bringing it in clothing collection, which is called Urbana, London. Um, it was uh, started in London and now I'm here in Princeton. Mm -hmm. oh, you started the company yourself or is it a franchise? Yes. Okay. No, it is. It is oh, my, yeah, it's my own company and it's been uh, 
nearly seven years of running. Mm -hmm. What kind of people like to buy your clothes? I mean, what are they looking for? Princetonians, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can see that they are excited to have something different, and uh, it's all natural, you know, materials that we use, and it's all sustainable, handmade fabrics. But more important, it's comfortable, comfortable oh, to absolutely. wear, and it yeah, breathes. Yeah, yeah it's, it's easy to wear. So you are stylish at the same time, comfortable. Let's hold something up. Yeah, so Describe this one this. Is, has been my uh, best selling. Um, it's actually a sold item. <laughs> um, and uh, so, so as you can see, you can either tie it in front or tie it at the back to make it look sheet dress. You can wear it with shirt, turtleneck, sweater, both neck t-shirts. Um, and it's pure cool, which is red fine. <laughs> Right. And it's hand woven. It takes around two two days to hand weave each piece. Uh, do you have a website if people want to? Uh, yeah. Online? Yes. Um, I haven't converted it into the US yet. Uh, it's called urbana.co.uk, and uh, Instagram is a great way to see what's going on uh, in the back end of it and the inspiration behind these uh, designs. Great clothes. Great accent. Good luck. <laughs> Thank you very much. Awesome. Good luck to you too. Thank you.